Hi everyone and welcome to TimeLock's Power Session. Today's session is about our new setup in one-click invoicing, also known as OCI. My name is Tina and I'm a customer success manager within TimeLock and I will do my very best in this power session to give you some pointers you perhaps did not know about. We're very proud to present one-click invoicing, also called OCI. It is a brand new feature in TimeLock that provides you with the option to automate your invoicing process. You avoid spending time on manually building your invoices with the right information, as you can simply use invoice templates and produce your invoices for the entire month with just a few clicks. We perform comprehensive user tests with selected customers from various industries, and they report time saving of up to one full workday per invoicing period. So imagine what you can do with 12 extra workdays per year. OCI then helps you streamline your invoices and secure high quality in your time lock data. And invoice templates decide how information from your project is grouped on your invoices. You have access to the OCI function when you are on an invoicing advanced version. Here you will get a number of predefined invoice templates that form the basis of your invoices. As soon as you have linked the templates to a customer or a project, TimeLock automatically starts to collect the relevant information and you avoid manually entry work. One-click invoicing especially makes it easier to manage invoices in large quantities and frees up time for you to create more value in your business. So let me show you how it works. You'll find the OCI in the system administration under finance right here. To activate it, you just click the slider in the top aware that OCI needs to be a role right activated on the role setup, meaning you need to activate OCI on the role required. You can see the basis setup of the default invoice templates that TimeLock has created for you. Here, there are different setups depending on what structure you want. So when clicking on the different templates, you'll see the setup. If you would like to edit anything and have a different setup, we suggest that you create a copy of an existing template and edit that. You do that on the three dots on the template and you click copy template. In this way, you make sure you always have TimeLock's default templates and you easily then create your own. So let's try and create a copy of a template. Let's do this one, project and task. So click here and say copy template. Now you see I have a new template, but it's a copy right now. On each template, you have the template name, the invoice header, and a message. The template name is the name you see on the depth to list when using OCI. So we suggest you give it a name that also describes the setup, like this default here says. It says project tasks. So I'm just gonna name it power session so we know that we're gonna use it later. The invoice header is an inserted tag as default, but you can also write in the header too if you like. When clicking it, you'll see all the tags available in the list. And you can also just write, so I'm just going to write project here. The tax is shown here, but you can also view more and you'll see it is grouped by, in this case, customer project dates. You simply just click the tag you want and it is inserted in the line and used in the template. So for this one, if I want to also select maybe project number, I can click and it will say project number, project name. I can just do a space here. The setup of the template is shown in the bottom. In this default setup, the setup is project task. It shows a header with a task line here and the mileage registration. 
Same goes for the lines here. If you want to write in it or if you want to add a tag, it's the same here. Where there are different setups depending on each template. So when I click on the others, as you saw before, you'll see that the structure did change. It's already saved as default now, so I have it ready right now. When you want to use the OCI template, you can set it up in two ways, either directly on the customer card or on the specific project. So let me show you how to add this new template we just created to a customer. Let's find a customer. I have a company here called Company X. So as you see here, this customer does not have an OCI template attached to their customer card. So I will choose to add our new template on this customer. This means that when this customer is invoiced, I can choose to create an invoice from the setup of the customer card. So let's see if we can find our new one. It's right here. I can also go directly to a budget and choose the template for that specific project. So let's find a project here. I have created this project. So here is my project. So under finances, and invoice settings, I can see here there are no selected template. So if I want to make sure that all invoicing done on this project selects the template that we, for an example, just created, I simply edit it and choose the template to attach to this project. In this project, I have created some time registration and a mileage registration as well. You can see my task here with some hours, and I also have made a couple of mileage registrations. So let's take a look at how the template is chosen when doing the invoicing. So I go to the step to list. And I can see if I can select and see my list. I know the customer is called Marvel on my test project here. So when OCI is activated, I can see it in the list here. I can see all the setups and all the templates using. So the top ones, use invoice templates from customer or project, gives me the option to simply choose with the setup we just did that I want to select templates from either customer card or directly on the specific project. The other header, select invoice design, is chosen when you want to select a specific design to the invoice. So you simply select it from the list when doing the invoicing. Let's see how it looks on our example we just did. So I have our project here, whoops, the power session one, and I can see we have six items. You can also just click to show, okay, we have some registrations and we also have some travel here. All looks good, so I want to invoice this one. I check mark it and I can select the template. I could, in this case, select use invoice template from project because we have made sure the new OCI template is set up on this project, but I could also choose whatever design I want here. So let's try to create it with the new setup we just created. I can see at the top status of my request. It is Ending if there were a lot, but it's already completed now, I can go directly to the task. 
Here's the trap. And here's my setup. I see that it has collected all the registrations in here. And I can see my travel is here. So I check that everything is okay. It all looks okay. I can edit if I want, I can add more if I want and adjust it. But in this case, it all looks correct. Just make sure I have a right number and I can book the invoice. Be aware that OCI also can be used on vouchers. It's the same thing. Right here, you see all the templates in the drop down here. So, if we're just going to make a recap of the top benefits of OCI. That is one, you save time in the invoice creation process. Two, you minimize the risk of errors when creating the invoices. Three, you ensure high quality in your data you send to the customer. Four, you make central settings on the customer cards that are automatically added to your projects. And five, you free up resources for your bookkeeper each month. That was all I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please see the next video in our YouTube channel or ask for help if you just can contact support or go directly to our help center, which is called help.timelock.com. Thank you for watching.